Hello， 大家，今天我想要跟大家聊聊一些比较心灵方面的事情，心灵跟学习态度。Today I would like to talk about more like a、um, mental and like attitude when learning Mandarin. Okay, and mindset. I do think that when you're learning Mandarin or any other language, the most important thing is not like how smart you are. Is not like Um, how good your memory is? No, none of them. None of the intellectual thing.、Um, the most important thing is first motivation. Second,、um, your mindset. You need to have a healthy mindset in order to learn Mandarin well. So that's why recently I would like to talk about more about mindset in my、uh, channel or my Instagram account. Okay, so two days ago, 两天以前，我在我的 IG 上分享了一个问题，然后你们有寄给我啊、uh, 你们的问题嘛 ？So the first question is this. Okay, so I know recently you just started your Mandarin learning journey. Congratulations! And I just want to say that this is actually a very excited thing, exciting, and you should feel excited about it. But not think about like how long is this journey, right?、Uh, even you think about like how long is this journey and how overwhelming is this language to you? Yes, I totally got it. Like the tone, the new grammar concept, vocabulary to remember. Um, and what, <laughs> and the Chinese character, yeah, the pronunciation. Wow, it's basically like like this, right? I totally got you. But don't think about them, none of them, because those are not the thing that you're going to focus on. We are going to focus on enjoy learning this this language, right? I want you to learn Mandarin with child's mind. What does that mean? Okay, so not only you, anyone who feels the same as her, think about when you were little, when you were learning your native language. I bet, I bet, in your age, like maybe seven or eight, you're not thinking, "Ah,、uh, oh, there's so many words I don't know. Ah,、oh, there's still so many vocabulary I don't know how to spell. Ah,、oh, I'm still so far to be fluent." No, you didn't think any of them because you just you just let the learning process happen naturally, and you knew that you're going to speak as good as adult one day, right? You might not even think about that. You might not even think about like、um, your final goal when you were little, right? Because there's no need. If you are stay in the process, you this is. Um, naturally, going to happen. Like to be able to speak well. Same for Mandarin, right? If you have patience, if you just enjoy the process and stay in the process, I don't know how what you expect is not going to happen, right? Because it's going to happen. Okay. And the second question is this. Yeah, I know a lot of you feel like you are stuck in the beginner level forever, and if you have this thought and or you feel like this, I want you to look at the material that you are using now, or are you allowing yourself to access to a higher level content? Okay, because I said this because a lot of、um, beginner thinks that because they are a beginner, so they are not allowed to. Um, access to higher level content. Let's say if you want to watch YouTube, but because you think like you are a beginner, so you just say like, "Huh,、uh, forget about those like native、uh, YouTube channel, native speaker YouTube channel. I'm just gonna watch children's one, like those like singing, like very childish one. Or sometimes there are like textbook audio, and you just keep." Listen to book one audio because you feel safe there. You feel you understand it, and you don't even try to access to、uh, the higher level Chinese.、Um, a lot of time is like we are restricting ourselves into transition to a higher level 
because we have this limiting belief in our mind. So throw that limiting belief away and now try to access to the higher level content. And so, for example, say YouTube, you just go to watch news in Taiwan or like we have, we have a lot of YouTube channel, like native speaker YouTuber, go check out their channel. I'm sure I'm sure you understand something, right? Because you already have the basic level of Chinese. And who doesn't learn a language using the one that you already know to expand your knowledge, right? So um, why I said that is because, let's say, you know certain words for beginner level, and then you hear that words in the higher content, higher level content, and then the higher level content, that word connecting to the other words. And then sometimes through the situation and, and the image, you like clearly know what they're talking about. So that's how you learn the other words. You don't necessarily always have the dictionary or you don't necessarily always to look up the dictionary, right? And for me, to me, this is also the most natural way to transition your Chinese basic level to a higher level, right? So yeah, stop limiting yourself and be brave to try uh, like higher level content, believing yourself because um, at the beginning you might feel like overwhelmed and think like, oh my God, oh my God, why are they talking about so fast? But, <laughs> but once you really take your time and listen, probably I bet you will know something, okay? This is how I train my own language skill when I'm learning other language. Um, I remember when I was learning English, uh, a lot of people suggest me to listen to a radio station called ICRT. Um, at that time, I was only in elementary school. Okay, so my English level was so low. And I thought, are you crazy? You asked me to listen to this like native speakers radio station. And then I tried. And then I was like, whoa, I know that word. Whoa, I know that word too. And then gradually after a while, depends on how frequently you, you keep learning and uh, listening to the new content, I found that, well, this is, this is not a line. If you keep doing this, you are going to make a lot of progress. So trust me, try it. All right, and the third question is about tones, okay? A lot of people message me about like, what is the best way to learn tone? What is the fast way to improve tone? And um, uh, my tone is not good, how do I improve it? And so on. There's always a lot of question about tones, which I understand, but my answer is going to, probably is going to disappoint you because my answer is listen, listen, and listen. Imitate, imitate, and imitate. That's my answer. Okay, if you ask any teachers or any person who can speak Mandarin pronounce, uh, or pronounce Chinese well, they all say the same thing. Listen and copy, right? Listen and copy and imitate. No other answer. Hmm? So I want you to stop looking and hoping that there is a magic trick to learn tones. I actually also did a poll on my um, Instagram account before, and I asked like, what's the best way for you to learn Chinese tone? And those who can speak Chinese very well, their answer are all the same. The key is to listen and also repeat. Repeat is super important. I think a lot of people are like, um, hoping that there is a best way and a good way to learn tones rather than like really sit down and spend their time on listen and repeat um, what they hear. Okay, repeat is super important. There is, I, I think like some linguistics say that if you want to remember um, a sound or vocabulary, at least when you are learning it, at least you have to say it eight times. Did you do it? 
and that's on, that's just at least okay. So it means that you have to do more in order for that sound, that vocabulary to stick into your brain. Okay, so、um, I want you to think like if I play a song to you, I play a song to you, a whole new song you never hear that song, and just once, can you remember it next day? I bet you won't. I bet, I bet you won't, and that's you have a super giant head <laughs> or brain.、Uh, if you listen to a song many, many times, you can sing the whole song. But if just one time, you're not gonna able to do it. Same for learning tones. Okay, you need to repeat a lot. Okay, so find someone who is、um, who's available for you to like really sit down and help you to. Fix your tone. If you think that you really want to make this happen, and you just do the most basic thing, ask them to say it and repeat and、um, to listen to if your tone are the same as theirs. Okay, and really, this is there is no any other fancy solution. Sometimes the most difficult thing is to do the most simple thing, right? So yeah, I want you to stop looking for other solution because this is the way. Okay, so I hope it's helpful, and、um, yeah, try it first because a lot of time that we just、um, skip the, we just listen and say, ah,、oh, okay, I understand, and then didn't repeat. Okay, I want you to repeat a lot. Okay,、um, yeah, this is my suggestion. Okay, guys. I hope this video is helpful, and yeah, just remember that to learn Mandarin well is not always about like intellectual thing. It's about your mindset and your motivation, and it's about your attitude. Okay, so、um, if you have a healthy mindset, I'm sure that your learning journey will be more fun and sustainable. And if you want to learn Mandarin with me, definitely check out my description box and also follow my Instagram. Okay, so see you guys in the next video. Bye.